Hey, what's going on y'all? Tania B here. So yeah, uh, this video, um, it just, I had a, uh, I guess a flashback and um, of how I never actually threatened my partner. And this is how I actually got to my flashback because I was thinking about a uh, story that I have, an experience that I have experienced um, through um, one of my members of my church. Um, and it was actually someone who I was uh, really cool with. So here's the story. And then you understand uh, why I said I've never actually threatened. And here's why, because of what have happened years ago have stuck with me. And that was just something that I, I just could never do. And so this is what happened. So years ago, I cannot remember the exact year, um, when I was living in Texas and I was going to uh, a church, uh, I used to go to church all the time. And so the people in the church were like our family. And there was this, uh, one of the members of our church, sometimes she would bring her, her nieces, uh, to the church. And so they would come for like randomly, you know, throughout the years and everything. And I got cool with one of the girls cause she was around my age. I may have been, uh, maybe, maybe 13, 14 years old. And her sister was a little bit older, but I believe maybe 17 and, or maybe 18. Uh, and so one day I had came home from school and my stepmom had told me what had happened to that family. And I was just like shocked. And so this is what happened. And so the older girl, the sister, she was dating a guy. And apparently the guy wanted to, I mean, she wanted to break up with the guy. And the guy told her, you know, well, if I can't have you, no one can. If I can't have you, no one can. And I guess she really didn't take it seriously. Maybe it could have been like an empty threat in her mind. However, one morning, the guy came to the house while his ex-girlfriend, his sister, the one who I was cool with, their two little sisters who were just super cool, like they were super cool, and their mom were sleeping in the house. This happened in Houston. He came in, and this coward shot all of them in the head. Now, when it came to, while they were asleep, now, when it came to the girlfriend, when it came to the girlfriend, he held the gun in her mouth. And when he pulled the trigger, she turned her head with a quickness and so the bullet didn't go through her head, it went through her cheek. So she survived, but her mom and her three younger sisters all died because of this guy who she was dating threatened her that if he couldn't have her, no one, no one can have her. So now years later, I'm going through like my experiences and stuff like that through my relationships. Subconsciously, I still remembered all of that. And so even when I was possessive, controlling, you know, being an asshole to my partners, that was one thing that I have not done that I remember so if my if one of my ex-girlfriends are watching this and say yes you did then forgive me okay I, I forgot seriously i forgot like i don't recall ever threatening however i know i did beg well at least with one of my girlfriends <laughs> i begged them to stay but i never threatened because in order to fit like something just didn't feel right to threaten my partner to stay with me, even though I did bag like a little pussy, but I didn't threaten because of what happened years ago of what I have heard 
throughout my uh, what, what I have heard and experienced through that situation in my younger uh, days that stuck with me. So I, I, that story still is good to me. It really does. So I'm just telling you anyone out there who may be like in an abusive relationship and like these, so maybe your partner is maybe saying stuff like that. Like if I can't have you, nobody can. I'll say take that seriously and and really start thinking of an exit plan. And I've heard that during that transition, like the people who, some people who do um, get out of the relationship during that break period is where a lot of even more harsh violence may happen. And even when people may, uh, get killed in that situation but I'm just saying like take it seriously take it seriously and I mean I personally I, I don't know really what else to tell you besides to you know really seek some help maybe you know uh, a shelter or um, maybe like a family member who like your partner may not know um, but I mean since I personally haven't experienced it myself you know, just the situation that to take those type of threats seriously, even if some of them may be empty threats, but sometimes you really can't tell out in this world and how people really are. You know, I mean, just stay prayed up. And I really wish the best for you. I truly do. And I wish I could give you more. I really do. But take that stuff seriously. Take it seriously. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching this vid. Definitely hit that like button if you feel like it or hit that subscribe button to so know when I go live again, upload a video again. I love you. Keep loving yourself. Tania B.